Greetings, this is Joshua from Chosen Vessels, the Preacher's Channel. We have uh, new details of the meaning of the name Seth put together by Mr. Drew Short. And again, we'd love to thank him for his contribution. Also, we'd love to use the occasion to encourage everyone to study and learn the ancient every the ancient Hebrew so together we may gain a fuller understanding of what Yahweh is trying to convey to us by means of the letters so far so good so far we're we're, we're content uh, about uh, our progress so far so good the context is Genesis chapter 4, verse 25, from the King James Version. I read, quote, And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God said she hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. Unquote. So this is uh, the an image uh, of Seth. Okay, it is for uh, the purpose of illustration only, and this image here is not an inference to the actual person Seth. And uh, thank you for your understanding in that regard. So in Seth, the root consonants are the S. And the t, okay, s t, just as we now have it, uh, we still have it in in other Ebe names such as Ayit, meaning what son of Ayi, as one example. So, the root consonants in Seth are the s and the t. The s means to connect, uh, and here it is what appointed, okay, it's a, a connection. And then the seed, here is the T, it means an extension. Seth going out uh, uh, from Adam and Eve, or Seth being an extension of Adam and Eve, is a child, or a, being their, their son. So it is a T, it is expressed by the letter T, as we have it in the name. However, Mr. Drew is going with all the letters uh, so as to highlight other important details touching Seth, as we are about to see it. So, going with all the the letters in the Seth, the S is to connect, the A uh is an entity or a person, and the T is the extension or son of, and the H, the H is a means consolation. So extension added is what Seth means altogether. So the S, uh, Mr. Drew writes, uh, uh, referencing the uh, the number in our ancient Hebrew revived complete chart, and it is number forty-one. He says Seth is connected to his parents because he was made in their image. And likeness and maybe also number 27 uh, Seth takes away the bereavement of losing both uh, her children Cain who moved away and Abel who was murdered so Seth is 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 uh, is coming in replacement to replace uh, Abel who was murdered and about the um mr drew writes he referenced to number 43 in the ancient hebrew revived the complete chart an entity fixed and approved of yah and adam and about the tub he referenced number 48 of the ancient hebrew revived the complete chart meaning uh, Seth is standing in the place of Abel for souls to come through his line, 
In other words, Yahweh intended that a righteous seed will come or may come through Seth. So that's what the uh, the te represents in the name. And then lastly, the the ch, the h, and he referenced number twenty six in the ancient Hebrew revived complete chart, and the uh, the h is consolation and comfort. So possibly this is a form of yabum, uh, where Yah and Adam and Hawa perpetuated their dead son's line. The Ya is the continuation, the Ba is the house, the U it means transcend or dying. In, a, in other words, alteration of natural shape or order. That's the uh, Yabum. So, Mr. Drew put it together beautifully. And now we have uh, a more profound meaning of the name Seth. As is the case with most ancient Hebrew names, Seth's name is also a recapitulation of what Adam, Edim, and Hawa were going through at this particular stage of their life. It is definitely uh, good. It's a good thing to have all these little details. Thanks. And then, uh, thank you for watching stay tuned and be looking forward to our next presentation coming soon